Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at how we can use our PDF tools via Chrome. Now in a previous video I showed you I think this website called I Love PDF. They've revamped it a little bit since our video and there are lots of little options over here which are nice for when you want to change or edit your PDFs if you want to merge or split them or compress them or convert a PDF to Word or something like that. There are lots of lovely little options over here. Maybe you want to convert your PDF to an image file all here on this website now another way that you can access all of these tools which is quite useful especially if you use google chrome is to use a google extension which is almost like your phone where you install apps on your phone you install an app on your google chrome browser so i'm going to search for chrome extensions and if you go to the chrome extensions, you'll get to the chrome web store and if I go to the Chrome Web Store, I'm, I'm looking for a PDF tool. So I'm going to go, it's an online tool, so I'm going to type online PDF. And if I look for that and search for the options available, hopefully the I Love PDF will be one of them. There we go. There's the I Love PDF website. They've got their own uh, Chrome extension. That's the one I'm looking for. I'll put a link description of how you can access it to this particular page. And so if you go to the, the your Chrome extensions over here, you can actually add this to chrome so i'm going to add it to chrome it's going to busy basically install it yes we want to add it it's busy going to start downloading it to the bottom here so there we go um so there we go it's added it there we go great so now it's added it to my extensions at the top there so basically when i click on that little that little i think it looks like a, a jigsaw puzzle when you click on that puzzle you'll get access to all your extensions and there's my online pdf tools so now whenever whenever i'm at a website and go hey i want to do something with pdfs i don't have to go and find I love PDF. I can just go straight here, straight to online PDF tools, and it will open up this little option for me where I can say exactly what I want to do. Say, you know what? I want to rearrange or manage my PDF. I want to organize it. So I'm going to click on that option and it'll take me straight away to the website that I need to go to. And so I've got a sample PDF here. It's just a random sample file. It's got some stuff from Wikipedia. I'm going to drag that onto the page. It will obviously give me all the options over here and then I can rearrange the pages if I want. I want actually that page to be first and so on. So you can do these wonderful little things that you can do over here. And then once you're done, you can click organize and it will basically do what it needs to do. And then you can download the file and then that will download down the bottom here. So there's downloading that PDF that's obviously been changed by me. So as I said, like every time I do that, all you have to do is come over here to or wherever, whatever website you're on. You can click on your extensions go to your PDF online tools, and then you've got access to all of these. And you go, hey, I want to compress my PDF. I want to convert it to a picture. You've got them all straight away here. You don't have to go directly to the website. So that's a nice little extension that can add some functionality to your to the way you work. So when you're working in Chrome, you can just quickly get to the different web page that you need to go directly so that you can edit or modify those PDFs. So as I said, remember, go to the Google Chrome store and then you're going to add the online PDF tools uh, extension, the ilovepdf.com one. So that's the one I would recommend for your Google Chrome. With other tools that can help you as a teacher, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, look at the videos tab for other options and other tools that can help you in the classroom. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.